Pope Francis, we can deceive ourselves, but in the end, without love, we are nothing. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. Pope Francis, during the celebration of Holy Mass at the National Stadium in Singapore, stated that at the end of our lives, the only reality that truly matters is that without love, we are nothing. At the beginning of his homily, Pope Francis expressed his gratitude to the Church in Singapore, which is alive, growing, and in dialogue with other religions. Referring to the country's imposing structures, the Holy Father remarked that at their core, it's not primarily, as many believe, about money, technique, or even engineering, all useful tools, but ultimately about love, the love that builds. Specifically, he reiterated that there is no good work without, perhaps, brilliant, strong, wealthy, or creative people behind it. But they are always fragile men and women, like us, for whom without love, there is no life, no drive, no reason to act, no strength to build. If something good exists and endures in this world, it is only because, in multiple and varied circumstances, love has triumphed over hatred, solidarity over indifference, generosity over selfishness, he pointed out. For the pontiff, if it weren't for this, no one here would have been able to grow such a vast metropolis, architects would not have designed, workers would not have built, and nothing would have come to fruition. In this sense, he affirmed that behind each of the works we see before us, there are many stories of love waiting to be discovered. It is good that we learn to interpret these stories, continued Pope Francis, written on the facades of our homes and in the layouts of our streets, and pass on their memory, to remind us that nothing lasting is born and grows without love. He lamented that at times the grandeur and impressiveness of our projects can make us forget this, deceiving us into thinking that we can be the authors of ourselves, of our wealth, of our well-being, of our happiness, yet, in the end, life brings us back to the only reality, that without love, we are nothing. In this vein, he explained that faith confirms and enlightens us even more about this certainty, because it tells us that at the root of our capacity to love and be loved is God himself, who, with a father's heart, desired us and called us into existence entirely freely, and who, equally freely, redeemed us and freed us from sin and death through the death and resurrection of his only begotten Son. In him lies the origin and fulfillment of all that we are and all that we can become, he emphasized. In this way, he pointed out that in our love, we see a reflection of God's love, since beyond the wonder we feel at human-made works, we are reminded that there is an even greater marvel that must be embraced with even more admiration and respect. According to the pontiff, this consists of the brothers and sisters we encounter every day on our path, without preferences or differences. He also pointed out that the most beautiful building, the most precious treasure, the most profitable investment in God's eyes is us, beloved children of the same Father, called in turn to spread love. For Pope Francis, we can see this in numerous saints, men and women captivated by the God of mercy, to the point of becoming his reflection, his echo, his living image. He gave the example of the Virgin Mary, in whom we see the Father's love manifested in one of the most beautiful and complete forms, that of a mother's tenderness, who understands and forgives everything and never abandons us. That's why we entrust ourselves to her. He also recalled Saint Francis Xavier, who was received on this land numerous times. Following his example and that of Mary, Pope Francis encouraged the faithful to ask themselves, Lord, here I am, what do you want me to do? May these words accompany us not only during these days but always, as a constant commitment to listen and respond promptly to the calls to love and justice, calls that still come to us today from God's infinite charity, concluded Pope Francis. <laughs>